Dear colleagues, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us watch management of this heart cataract with small people in this video. The main incision has been placed. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision. An air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and then tripan blue dye is applied to stain the anterior capsule. A bit of dye is applied under the iris so that all parts of the anterior capsule gets stained. The dye is washed out to get uniform anterior chamber. And now, 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill up the anterior chamber. A bit of visco is applied under the iris to make a little space so that a BHEX ring can be tucked easily. BHEX is a people expansion device invented by Dr. Bhattacharji of Kolkata, India. The device is taken into the anterior chamber with this BHEX forceps. The leading flange is tucked at on go if the hole of the ring goes into the anterior chamber. If the trailing end is stuck in the main wound, it is not attempted. The left flange is tucked through the main wound itself. And the right flange, which is directed at around 10 o'clock, is tucked going through the left side port. And we get a beautiful hexagonal pupil. Size of this pupil is about 5.5 millimeter, and we will get a rexis of about 5.25 millimeter. Sharp needle has been used to cut into the capsule because there is genular weakness in this case. A utrita forceps is being used to get a rexis which is 5.25 or 5.5 millimeter in size. Because this is a hard cataract, I want to get as large a rexis as possible with this people. I have kept a capsular tension ring ready. If it requires, we can use it. Hydro dissection is done at multiple points and small amounts of BSAC is injected. Visco is injected again and the nucleus is bimanually rotated. Bimanual rotation of the nucleus causes stress on the jonule. And now my plan is to do divide this nucleus by my technique submarine job. Here the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus with full power about 80 percent ultrasonic energy. The tip is buried and it goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator and reaches near the opposite equator. And then the chopper is used to get a nice crack. The chopper gradually goes down, so you can call it a sort of multi-level chopping. The nucleus is rotated 180 degree. The on hemineucleus is held with the with vacuum and the chopper is used to divide the nu nucleus into two hemineuclei. Visco is injected again to protect the coronal endothelium. And now one hemineucleus is to be divided into two parts. I go through it, through the substance, occlude the tip nicely. The tip was not getting occluded. And here I get a nice occlusion and I divide the, the nucleus. Uh, 
And now my plan is to emulsify this nucleus. Ultrasonic energy is set at 80 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, where is 450 millimeter of mercury and the mission is galaxy pro orbit from upper Sami associates. And this is another challenge. I have managed such cases many times with Oatly Caterex 3, but this is a new machine and that is putting some stress on my mind that is true. But though it is becoming a little difficult, I am able to manage this hard cataract with this new machine. This is a small bit of nucleus, I emulsify this and now I again come out of the visco anterior chamber with visco. Whenever we use HPMC and the cataract is hard like this, better to give some, uh, you should after emulsifying one heminucleus and then uh, coat the endothelium again. And now I go again and try to divide this heminucleus. Same technique, the tip goes into the substance of the nucleus, occludes the heminucleus completely. Yeah, again, I am not getting a strong hold and now I am getting a strong hold. I think I have to increase the vacuum, 450 vacuum is not becoming uh, okay for this case. Let me try the occlusion pulse mode of galaxy to orbit vacuum. Occlusion pulse mode coming. So we have managed the nucleus quite well with this new machine. And now we have to remove the cortex. I'm using this 23 gauze Simco to remove the cortex. A lot of cortex is there hidden under the iris. We just have to move the Simco side to side and try to catch hold of the anterior part of the cortex and pull gently, very gently. Here it is. Just hold the anterior part and pull it towards the center. At this time, we have to be careful. Jonule is weak and we should not hold the capsule and pull it. There's some more cortex at seven o'clock. Yes, it has come out. So now we have removed the cortex nicely. And we are done. We have yes, some more cortex is there here. So so much cortex was there in it in and it, it appeared that there is nothing is there. 
Now I inject visco for the capsular bag, fill up the anterior chamber and a single piece mocal intraocular lens is placed in the capsular bag. At this time I see a small bit of nucleus near the main wound. What I do is I just express, press the posterior wall of the wound and it comes out. And now with the help of the BX forceps, remove the BX pupil expander. And now cortex is nicely cleaned. First I have used Simco that I have not shown in this video because the video is it's long already. The surgery took about 19 minutes and I have edited this to about 12 minutes. I am thinking of how to improve followability of the pieces to the tip. Maybe I have to use some higher vacuum. 450 is not becoming great. But as I increase the vacuum to about 470, uh, I have to see how the is the anterior chamber stability. So next time I will call Mr. Mani of Upper Sami Associates and ask for higher vacuum and how to increase the followability, how to uh, hold the pieces nicely and that is it. The case is concluded here. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will encourage you to try Appasami's Galaxy Pro Orbit Vacuum Machine.